In America, there is something called、um, seller fulfilled prime. Seller fulfilled prime, which is, by the way, fantastic for reasons I'll come to in a second. But what it so you've in America you've got FBM fulfilled by merchant, FBA fulfilled by Amazon, and seller fulfilled prime, which is a Like a hyper、uh, cool version of FBM, where, whereby you essentially guarantee to provide the same levels of service as people would get in FBA. So next day delivery, that kind of shit.、Uh, that doesn't exist as yet in、um, Australia. In Australia, there is FBA fulfilled by Amazon and FBM fulfilled by Merchant. So, what's the difference as far as Amazon goes? Well, as I've already said, Amazon is、um, looking to maximise the revenue per search. One of the revenue streams that Avenue gets is、um, commissions on sales, anywhere between eight and twelve percent, depending on the category. And another one is FBA fees. So. It stands to reason, given what we know about Amazon, that products that are FBA will automatically generate more revenue for Amazon simply because Amazon is getting paid FBA fees to have them listed. Okay, so that's I think goes without saying. But what does it really mean as far as the actual search engine results page? What it really means is that. If you have, and this is just based on our anecdotal testing, okay. If you have consistently gotten,、um, let's just click into a result, so you can see what the hell I'm talking about.、Uh, poor choice, Asher. Still, not a problem. If you've got consistently. Good feedback ratings as a seller. So let's just go and look, check out this. What they're selling in here. So if you've got consistently got good feedback ratings as a seller, so let's just go check out their ratings. For the most part, we've got a hundred percent positive. So those guys have, have proven that they are very, very good at sending stuff out and looking after their customers. So if they were FBM, if they were fulfilled by Merchant, Amazon、um, would not penalise them. Too much for use for not using FBA. However, all things being equal, meaning similar product, similar price, similar amount of reviews, bloody bloody blah, 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 Amazon will always prioritise FBA over FBM. And if two sellers are selling the same product, so you were selling True Skin Naturals, I was selling True Skin Naturals. I was using FBM. You were using FBA. You would win the buy box the majority of the time. You would win the buy shop again. All things being equal, you would get the buy box the majority of the time, which becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy for Amazon to carry on using FBA.、Uh, so is that? Hopefully that answers your question. So now let's look at seller fulfilled prime. So seller fulfilled prime. One of the biggest pains in the arses about. Selling things on Amazon is Amazon's、um, capturing and keeping all of the customer data to themselves. So we're not sharing that customer data. So it used to be the case that you could get at least the name and address of your customers, but that's now changed. You can't even get that anymore. So. Which sucks because it means you can't do any follow up. You can't look after them. They're not really your customers. They're really Amazon's customers. So seller fulfilled Prime, if you can get it, means that you get all of that customer data. You get name. You get address. You get mobile number. You get everything,、uh, so you can communicate with your customers and make sure they're okay. Amazon gives you that, which is a very very good reason to do. Seller fulfilled Prime. It is slightly more expensive, but because you get all the data, I think it is worth it. I think it is worth it.
So the bottom line is, as Hayden says, they favor FBA. Absolutely, they favor FBA every single time, every single time. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.